Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, if you guys don't know me. And so I started documenting my journey on Bill's palsy. So this is actually day four of the journey. Um, so I've researched some different types of tape and what to use. So I have three different types, but I can tell you the type that I've been using is scotch tape. And I know I've mentioned this in the first video um, about my minimalist <laughs> and stocking up stuff. So I've been using just like plain scotch tape. Some people say to use adhesive tape. Um, I talked to my mom about this. She's a nurse practitioner. She was just saying, and so this is waterproof. Um, I tried putting it on my skin. And what I would probably do if I were you, um, so like this one isn't easy to rip so I actually have to cut it with scissors and what I did was put it on my skin and tried taking it off and it comes off okay but obviously like your face um, I guess it's more like you're not gonna want to use duct tape that's gonna just use some common like this like medical tape where it's like easy to rip which I think would be good for your skin like not as bad so all right so I'm going to show you guys how to apply this if you guys have it so like I said if your doctor tells you to use tape I would do it um, especially when you're sleeping you want to keep your eyes shut um, and then cover it during the day I've just been like putting the eye patch on because it feels weird like I'm going to try to shut my eye right now um I feel like it's shut. I hope it's shut. It doesn't hurt today. Woohoo! It doesn't hurt. Ooh, that was a little bit loud. Um, so my hearing is really intense, but, um, so the past couple days it's been, like, hard, and it feels like I can shut it to about, like, here, and then what I've been doing is just pushing it down gently. And you want to wash your hands. I already washed my hands, but you can touch it with the back of your eye, or the back of your finger, and just lightly help it go down. The more you do it, um, it'll help the muscle too. All right, so what I do is this. Take some tape. Oh, it's loud, it's so loud. You guys have this. You guys, the, for people that don't have Bill's palsy, you guys aren't gonna understand, but the hearing, it's like piercing your ears. So people that have it, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just everything, It's the every, your noise is so intense. So you take your tape, and what I've been doing, obviously, like, sanitize your scissors, like, wash them. And I've been cutting it with a thin strip. And it, it, just do what works good for you. I'll, pu uh, I'll link in the description the video that I originally watched. Um, I believe she's a, I think she's a therapist of some sorts, physical therapy. And this is how, where I learned this technique. But obviously, do what's good for you. Um, so what I do, and you're going to do this in front of a mirror, I've just gotten really good at it. So you're going to put it, you're going to put, put this tape like right here, you're going to want to pull it, and pull it tight. Because you don't want this part, this, so what I've researched is that the lid will droop, and you don't want it to droop, right? So you're going to pull it up, and if it, so like when it's on, if it feels uncomfortable, Obviously, like, it's going to feel weird the first night that you guys are sleeping with tape on or, like, do this for the first couple days. This is my fourth day, and I'm getting used to it. But if it feels uncomfortable and if it itches, if it scratches, if it's touching your eye, take it off. Um, so I'll show you really quickly how to take it off. So when you take it off, you don't want to rip it. This is not a waxing session, guys. And for people that have never been waxed, <laughs> um, yeah, just don't rip it off. It hurts. So what you're gonna do is just lift it at the end, and that's why you want extra, right, too? And what I do is just tug, like pull the skin tight, and it sort of just rolls off. Just pull it tight. Right, okay. So that's what you're gonna do, and I'll show you the top lid too. So obviously I would put a new piece of tape, but I'm gonna put it pretty close. I get it underneath my eyelashes and pull it up. Okay. Um, if it's wet, it's gonna look weird, so it might look a little bit weird. So I apologize. 
All right, so this is the fun part. This is the, where it looks really weird. But what I've noticed, like my bedtime routine, um, like I said, I only do this when I sleep or take a nap. Um, the good thing too, like take naps. If you're tired, take a nap. Don't like force your body to stay up. You want to rest, your body needs rest. Um, listen to your body, I guess is the biggest thing I'm telling you. Um, so this one, you're gonna take tape about like this long. And you're gonna, so my routine, I do everything, I brush my teeth, I do everything. Oh, that's a good thing too. I'll, I'll make another video on that about like good hygiene um, and why. So check that out. And then, um, so before I go to bed, I do everything before I go to bed. And then the, this is like the last step I do before I go to bed because like it feels weird because like, I feel like when I shut my eye, it's hard to keep this eye shut and this one open. This one naturally just wants to lift open. So it's just easier just to get everything done out of the way and then just do this and then go right to bed. All right, so your tape. So you're gonna want to shut your eye and hold it down gently. You're gonna take this piece of tape and you're gonna put it in the corner of your eye, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is put it at an angle And go down okay I'm doing this super gently okay so my eye looks like this now if I try to open this eye this eye is like lifting and I can see down here um, I guess the biggest thing you want to do is make sure that it doesn't hurt you don't want it to scratch your eye. You don't want it to like, if it's hurting your eye, take it off. Don't leave it on. Um, so yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. Um, I've gotten better at it. I've had to do it a couple times every night cause it's like wet and I usually put eye drops in before I do this to like make sure it's lubricated. But you want it to like dry, like make sure it's not wet otherwise it's not gonna stick. So this is how you pretty much do it. Um, and do it a couple times, like stock up on tape. Guys, this is like me and my mind. Okay, I'm gonna take this off so I don't look weird talking to you guys. So how I take it off real quick is, same thing, I'm gonna lift, you're gonna just pull the skin tight. You're not gonna rip it off. And it's not painful. See, there you go, and it sort of took it both off. So, um, you don't want it to be painful. If you're allergic to certain tapes, don't use it. Find a different tape to use. Um, I did try using this tape last night um, a little bit. I'm sort of nervous to do it on my upper lid because I feel like it's a little bit strong. So what I did do was put it down here. And it's definitely like tighter. It's more, I feel more secure, right? Versus the scotch tape. But the scotch tape has been working for me. So I'm not gonna switch up something like don't fix something that's not broken type of thing so yeah um if you guys find tape that works for you i would not recommend duct tape um and then like what i notice is this one it's sort of is more tackier so it's i feel like up here pulling it off is gonna like or taking it off is gonna hurt so that's why i'm staying away from it so I haven't tried this tape. I might try this later today. I honestly feel like the scotch tape is just working. So like I said, the stock up. Um, I get the whole minimalist thing, but when sometimes having some stuff is not a bad thing, um, especially when you're having medical stuff going on. The last thing you want to do is go to the store to get something. So, anyways, I hope you guys got some value from that. If you guys have any tips, tricks questions comments leave it down below and then um don't forget to subscribe like comment share hopefully this helps somebody um and thanks for following my journey bye